Chop like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco. Draco. On the north got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wiggle. No way. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. Take, take out. No monkey in the jungle, fly high like a sauna. Bouncing nothing and we're trying to weep an anaconda. Jumping in the water, trying to sneak across the border. Got sea boys out, got me big bad for Ronald. Out, bag it, bag of money, knew I gotta have it. Savage, put on till the gym, I'm in the Cali. Atlantic, nigga, turn them in about the cabbage. What up though, it's your girl Coco and we're back with another video So, boom, welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're returning um, This is a different kind of video, I don't normally do these type of videos But I'm trying to change my lifestyle a bit So I figured if I'm changing my lifestyle, I might have to change a little bit of things of how I do on YouTube um, as you can tell by the title below, it's going to be like a life update, um, kind of girl talk on the kind of it girl I think I want to be. I don't know. I don't really know what to call this video. I just wanted to bring some knowledge of what I've been researching and how I kind of want to live aka like a softer life a slower life i believe is what it's called um and i'm just touching on some subjects like what a homemaker is what a homesteader is um things like food pre preservation um being a proverbs 31 woman and what that kind of looks like so if all of those things um kind of sound interesting to you or you've never heard of those things or whatever the case may be and you care about my opinion or you just want to sit here and chill and vibe and while you're cleaning then continue on watching this video but first go ahead and like comment subscribe and leave a little comment down below so i know that you're watching And while I'm talking about these subjects in the actual video that you're seeing here, I am cleaning up the kitchen and kind of preparing it for the week. Also, I will be preparing a few snacks and treats for the week as well. Ultimately, I'm just wanting to live that soft life. And for me, as I'm looking into the characteristics and what makes up things such as a homemaker and a homesteader it's not just somebody that has a bunch of land and you know <laughs> borderline farm or a housewife that has a providing husband i feel like a homemaker is initially um, someone who maintains their home while living frugally and responsible with their money and honestly that is something that i would like to adopt okay and then a homesteader is someone that maintains a home and strives to be self-efficient uh or as self-sufficient as possible and for me both of those go kind of hand in hand to each other and i want to be all of those things um alongside of you know being a woman of god which is where that proverbs 31 woman comes into play um what she is she's a person that strives on you know being okay with being humiliated i know sometimes i have a big ego um i feel like a lot of women and people do uh that's just us being humans but i really want to strive to be able to be more uh okay with you know stepping down and not having to be so prideful i want to serve with love and kindness in the world now i already am naturally um a person who is pretty kind and loving but i know there's always room for growth and i would appreciate myself and i feel like god would really appreciate it if um 
I stood on that. <laughs> and um, also just taking care of myself, whether that's physical and mental and making sure that my health and my household health is up to par. And ultimately, I just want to be financially free and happy. Really, that's just the ultimate goal here. And I really enjoy um, looking into all these topics um, and just kind of getting a grasp of what it is and what it looks like for me. So um, when it comes to like homesteading or having your own homestead, um, I know a lot of people have like their own land and um, I aspire to have my own land and have my property there and maybe raise some animals, some chickens, some, some you know, I really aspire to do that. But honestly, I don't have land right now. So I've just been looking up some ways to start quote unquote my homesteading homemaker soft life uh, type of deal while still living in such like a quote unquote modern vibe you know what I mean so um, one of those things was like food preservation you can start that now you know what I mean like chilling putting stuff in the freezer, sugaring, salting, canning, vacuum sealing, all of these awesome tasks um, you can start doing to preserve your food. So instead of going to the grocery store and getting, you know, all these canned vegetables, soups, and you don't know what is in it. Some people are finding like rats and all kinds of foolery in these cans. Um, you can actually can your own food and I feel like that is awesome I was watching this girl on uh, YouTube and she was like she's a fourth generation canner excuse me girl big flex okay y'all over here talking about skincare and shit is like it girl and going to the gym no but like being able to like can your own food grow it out of the ground and can it excuse me like big flex big flex big flex <laughs> so i just aspire to you know and she's able to like feed her family like excuse me hello you know what i mean so that's what it comes down to food preservation now some other things you can do is like create your own cleaning supplies laundry detergent um, and things of that sort uh, especially starting your own garden I have kind of dibbled and dabbled into like starting my own garden and also just like you see me here in this video right here um, we had some leftover food it was completely free because it was from the church and I'm able to freeze it and use it for my family so i'm just doing little stuff like that because before i would literally just tell the church like no we don't need it or you know we don't need all this food but you never know when there's like another covid or another i don't know it might be worse it might have be like a zombie apocalypse like i'm <laughs> you just never know so it's better safe than sorry and so i just really um, enjoy learning and dibble and dabbling into certain things like um, gardening and food preservation I also want to go tap back into like sewing like I took home mech in high school and middle school and we sewed we cooked and it was like the most fun thing ever because I already got a baby so I don't need no practice on that I have a baby <laughs> I have a child so um that's as real as it gets than a fake baby crying and you can just turn it off right so all the things that we learned um i feel like uh i kind of lost that so i kind of just want to gain it back because i feel like that is a very important thing um some other things that you can do to start now if you were interested is you know like i said 
your carpet cleaner, your cleaning products, laundry soap, uh, spot remover, um, just drying your clothes on a rack, you're saving some money on that electricity, you know what I mean? Drying some clothes on the drying rack, going to some local farms, um, those all kind of things that you can do make your own sauces make your own jams and i'm super excited to learn how to do all that i'm really super excited about making my own bread um yeah i just don't even know but i'm looking through different recipes and seeing you know what's the easiest what's the difference between sourdough and regular bread you know all that kind of stuff like because i really just don't know <laughs> and then here in this video you're gonna see I'm making some Rice Krispie treats now. Is it he the healthiest? No, but um, instead of going out and buying that box of Rice Krispie treats um, with I don't know what is in it, and this was a lot cheaper because I already had most of the stuff here at home. So just little stuff like that um, to me makes me feel good because it feels like I'm practicing what I'm saying, what kind of lifestyle I'm saying that I want Um to portray and walk in and be true to so i'm making some rice krispie treats and i'm also making some yogurt sticks for my baby boy because it's starting to get really hot outside and um i got this probiotic yogurt and i feel like he's gonna like them um he had something like that when he was like a baby like starting to eat like solid foods and stuff so i felt like it would be super cool um to kind of incorporate that back in when the summer comes to add to this but also just really my my whole point in the video is just to bring awareness to you know some of the things that's going on in the world and things are crashing and um you can't rely on the government you can't rely on certain things like we used to i guess um or maybe my eyes are just being open to it i don't know or maybe just because i have a kid or i don't know what the factor is but i've just for the past year or so i've just been really itching to do a shift in my life and i feel like this is that um i also want to touch on like i know i said i put in a prayer here about the proverbs woman and you know we're talking about the husband you do not have to be married to take care of your freaking household okay if you are by yourself you don't even have a kid if you're by yourself and you live in a one-bedroom apartment and you're like i want to be self-sufficient you know start just a, like a little mini herb garden and start you know get you a air fryer and like dry out your herbs and make your own seasoning something like that's super simple that you can do you know or like dry out some fruit you know blend it up put it on you know a baking sheet put it in the oven and make it your own fruit roll-ups stuff like that if y'all are interested in some of the snacks that i plan on making for my toddler then comment down below toddler snacks and um it, just seeing what what you guys are um <laughs> if i don't even know if you guys are gonna be like what is going on I'm still going to be doing like shopping videos on here. I'm still going to be doing cooking videos. We're going to do all the lovely things on here. But I really just have been having dreams and strict emotions behind this. So I really feel like it's God willing and I, I'm going to do it. If he tell me to do it, I'm going to do it. You know, I'm not perfect. Um, I'm not, you know super experienced but i will take you guys along and we'll mess up be messy we'll make mistakes we'll do all of the nine through here and at least you can learn through me like what not to do maybe or <laughs> maybe you like a little bit of things that i do and you know you might want to incorporate that or this is your first time hearing about any of this and you're like what the heck um I'm just excited to share it with you you know ultimately my ultimate goal is to just have some land and have my family live on there and call it a freaking day honestly that's <laughs> if i could do that right now today i would do that but yeah that is my rant y'all watched a whole video of me ranting while i made rice krispie treats and yogurt sticks so um i hope you guys 
liked this video or liked a little bit of what I'm talking about. Um, like I said, if you want me to go into more depth of what I'm talking about, I may do like a a YouTube live or go on Instagram live, um, whichever one, and talk about these things and um, go from there. Uh, but I'm just super excited to kind of share this. I'm going to call it like an awakening of life that I want to live. And I hope I can inspire or tell you what not to do. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yo. Purpose. 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 Purpose.